Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Saturday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is May the 21st, 2016. It was on this day in 1960 when a 7.9 struck Chile. The earthquake caused extensive damage and some people were injured. Most of the damage and casualties occurred in unreinforced masonry buildings that had been weakened but survived the magnitude 8.3 earthquake that struck in 1939. A small tsunami was recorded along the coast of Chile, but no damage was recorded. Interesting. Today is known as the following. Armed Forces, National Memo, and National Waiters and Waitresses Day. Okay. All right. Earthquake report time. Here we go. As of 3.51 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in 142 earthquakes. Just so you know, we experienced 1,766 earthquakes in total last week. And our monthly total is currently sitting at 5,960. A year ago today, we clocked in 319. The strongest to strike the planet then was a 5.7 that hit the Solomon Islands. Speaking of which, did you know that there are dozens of sunken warships peppered off the coast of the Solomon Islands? It's true. In fact, the Solomon Island campaign, which was part of the Pacific Theater of World War II, resulted in the following... 96,000 deaths, 90 sunken ships, and over 2,300 destroyed aircraft. You know, it's amazing to think that World War II took place only 74 years ago. Hmm. We have definitely experienced an interesting week. Our pals in Australia experienced a 6.1, which was later downgraded to a 5.9 just yesterday. Following this quake, they have experienced multiple aftershocks that continue well into today. Ecuador has experienced powerful earthquakes as well. The strongest to hit this week was a 6.8 that struck on Wednesday, May the 18th. Greece was hit with two earthquakes just yesterday, a 4.0 and a 4.3. Here in the States, we experienced earthquakes striking the New Madrid seismic zone as well as along the eastern limb of the North American Craton. So, we've seen interesting movement all around the globe just within the past few days. Let's see if that trend continues well into today, shall we? The strongest to strike the planet today was a 5.5 that hit Hachijojima, Japan. This was the only earthquake to strike this region today, and it is also the only magnitude 5 earthquake registered thus far. We have clocked in only 12 earthquakes that fall within the magnitude 4 scale. We have Tonga with a 4.9, Philippines with a 4.8, Indonesia with a 4.7 and a 4.5, the Northern Mariana Islands clocked in a 4.5, Greece with a 4.5 as well, Macedonia with a 4.8 and a 4.7, Talkeetna, Alaska with a 4.4, Chile with a 4.5, and finally Australia with a 4.4 and a 4.2. Let's take a moment and talk about the magnitude 6.1 earthquake that struck Australia yesterday. The quake hit at 4.14 a.m. at a depth of about 6.2 miles according to Geoscience Australia. Geoscience Australia said the main tremor was felt as far as 317 miles from its epicenter and no injuries or damage have been recorded. One reason for this is the closest settlement is well over 62 miles away. The first-hand accounts that have been streaming in are pretty interesting. Here are a few. It was the most bizarre experience because the ground was wobbling and it sounded like a low-flying plane. Geologically speaking, earthquakes as powerful as yesterday's are rarely seen in Australia. The strongest recorded quake to hit Australia was a magnitude 6.6 that hit the small mining town of Tennant Creek in January 1988. The last fairly potent earthquake experienced in Australia was a 6.2 in 1997. Interesting. The remaining earthquakes, as I'm sure you have guessed, have for the most part struck the United States. We see that Hawaii has three on the books. The strongest to strike was a 2.5 in Palhalla. Alaska has experienced 31 earthquakes thus far, the strongest being the previously mentioned 4.4. Washington has registered five. The average magnitude was only a 0.6, and the strongest to hit being a 1.2. Oregon has been very quiet. In fact, no earthquakes have been reported at this time. 
California has clocked in 68. The strongest to hit was a 3.4 in Ferndale. No unusual earthquake swarms have been witnessed at this time. Nevada has logged only 13. The strongest registered was a 2.2 that hit the Gerlach Empire. Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming have also been quiet. In fact, no earthquakes from either of these states have been registered. Oklahoma has seen only one earthquake today. This was a 3.0 that originated from McCord. Arkansas, care of the New Madrid Seismic Fault experienced movement today. This was a 1.7 in Greenbrier. Also located along this fault, we see that Tiptonville, Tennessee experienced a 1.8. And that is it for the earthquake report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like to chat, please post down below. I'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Guys, stay safe. Have a great night. Hoorah!